Some scenarios, victims are actually being stuck with the cost. We don't normally identify rape victims, but Kara Burnham wants to speak out. She says the sexual assault was devastating, emotionally and physically, but now she's also having to fend off bill collectors. Definitely never anticipated that getting raped would affect my credit score, no. <laughs> um, I probably wouldn't have even gone forward with the rape kit if I had known what was going to happen. She was told that she would not have to pay for a rape kit, a standard part of every sexual assault investigation. Then a bill showed up for $400, the price for her rape kit. She took to Facebook and posted, I just paid $400 to get raped. I've like yelled at the police about that and I've, it definitely made me mad, that's for sure. Victims of rape in North Carolina should never have to pay for their own rape kit. The state foots that bill. For Mecklenburg County, it's something that we do see occasionally with hospitals. Safe Alliance of Charlotte says even though it doesn't happen a lot, there are mix-ups from time to time where the victim gets stuck with the bill. Sometimes when it gets to administrative side or the billing. Occasionally we have um, victims that have gone to the hospital that do receive a bill. A rape kit in North Carolina can cost as much as $700. One woman who lives in the Queen City didn't want to go on camera, but told NBC Charlotte she faced a similar situation and is still paying off the $1,298 bill from then. This issue is happening in our city to countless people, she wrote. And officials of the Safe Alliance say if victims ever suspect there's a problem or they're being charged for something they don't think they should be, you should contact a victim's advocacy group. I'm Mark Boyle reporting for NBC Charlotte. A first of its kind drug bust in North Carolina. Deputies seized an estimated half a billion dollars in illegal